These are cochineal beetles. You see the little bug bits right here? Whoa. Where's the, uh, you got that? Yeah. Oh, where'd that red color come I from? How'd that it. happen? Fair. Watch this. The red color is this. This is genuine carmine. So the Aztecs developed this color, and when the Spaniards came into Central America and took over Central America, and they found the colorants that the Aztecs had developed for all kinds of different purposes, one of the colors that totally knocked them out was this, genuine carmine. So this became so valuable that, in fact, the British would hire pirates to take over and board the Spanish galleons, not only for the gold and for the other bits of treasure, but also for the, for the cochineal beetles. Now, cochineal beetles are indigenous here. They grow on a prickly pear cactus here in Central, Central Texas. But there's much greater populations in Mexico. So this color was used by the British for what? Their coats. For their coats. This is the color that the British that, that, that the British needed for their red coats. This was also the color that Betsy Ross used to dye the red strips of fabric for the first American flag. So what you're telling me? The cockroach, but you call it's it not the cockroach. The cockroach is cochineal. The cockroach is cochineal. Okay. The cockroach is cousin. The cochineal. There you go. <laughs> Man, that is exciting. That's now, unbelievable. Now, how big are these beetles? About, they're about like this. Now, it's only the female that produces carminic acid. Carminic acid is the colorant. So part of the reason this is a little duller than that is because there's a bunch of guys in here. If they could get rid of the damn guys, then this would be far more brilliant and much clearer. You know, that's my exact sentiment.